This is Michael Oral at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I have in my hands the Garmin Asus NuviPhone G60. This is the original NuviPhone that we saw last year at the Mobile World Congress event. You can see this is the main menu. It has automatic rotation. The right hand column here is actually the main menu. You can navigate through. It's all kind of like a widget UI on the Samsung devices except nothing gets drug onto the screen. Call functionality works as you expect. There's the dialer. Contacts, of course, also works landscape mode. Nice scrolling action. It's a resistive touchscreen display, but it's, it seems to work pretty well. Maybe a little bit too much inertia in terms of coasting, but still pretty cool. Down here in the bottom corner, you always find the back button. You can always just press it once to go back one layer, but if you're down deeper, let's say we'll get into settings here. Now we're a couple layers in, so if we long press the button, it takes us back to the home screen. Uh, has a large point of interest database in it for navigation, you know, just like you would find on other Garmin devices, but it also makes use of Google search, so it mixes the point of interest in between the two. So you can search on something if it doesn't exist in the point of interest database that Garmin pre-installs, you're going to find it on Google search more than likely anyway. Uh, email, there's sync support for personal computers, but no enterprise mail. Everything works off of pop for email functionality. Music player, that kind of stuff. So this is still fairly early in terms of system software. It's a, it's a closed Linux-based system, I guess. It's not Android or anything like that. There's actually no support for third-party applications whatsoever, which is a little bit extreme. But overall, it seems to be a pretty nicely integrated package for navigation. You can see right here, hopefully we'll find where we are in Barcelona. There we go. We're right by the Sagrada Familia. Take a look at weather. You know, a lot of interesting stuff. Still kind of a closed system, but feels pretty good. Uh, simple in terms of design. There's not much in terms of buttons. You know, you've got volume keys there, shutter button, the camera on the back, mini USB on the side. Like I said, fairly simple design, nice monoblock form. Pretty cool device. So there you have it. That's a very, very quick and uneducated look at the Garmin NuviPhone G60 here at Barcelona's uh, Mobile World Congress 2009.